Okay. I had a wipe with my hands and a Pepsi Zero. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. bro. I had no choice. There was no, like, oh, very few leaves. God. They were crumbly. You wipe you with my hands and you go Pepsi dirt. Zero? You rub it in you, dirt. First of all, why, you why did you have a Pepsi what? Zero on a hike? What did you do, not wipe? Yeah. You had you have a Pepsi what? Zero on a hike? A Pepsi Zero on a hike might be the craziest part. Tickets are on sale for KFC Radio Live. Click the link in the bio. Get yours. Come out and hang with the boys. Dude, I cannot. I am so fucking done with this fucking Taylor Swift shit. Really replaced the, the Neely. I'm. S- the I honestly have to. S- a football a, fucking storyline. Replace the what? The Neely, oh, but Neely. It, it's a much better story. I am surprised yeah. the direction she's taking. I thought it was going to be a one and done show oh, up. On, get on the mic. But she's go. showing up now like a like a cheerleader to the varsity game. Every we week. we were just talking about it before you guys. Are we recording? Yeah, we're good. We were just talking about it. Yeah. I think she. I thought it was going to be one and done. Then yeah. when it wasn't, I was kind of like. All right, whatever. I think she's starting to toe the line of like people are going to get sick of it, but I I think she's too big now where it won't matter. Like she's like, a master but, promoter. Yeah, she'll, like, like, she'll know. Like what was it? I don't know, five, six, whatever years ago, where people were like Taylor Swift is like a little bit weird, a little phony. She's annoying, kind of thing. Is that not yours? You could just throw her. Over. But what happened to my hat? You yeah, she's it. a little phony. I'm taking your but, business calls. Fucking bitch, cunt. Go call your sister that you probably hired <laughs> yeah. in the meantime. Just taking calls in conference they rooms don't give on your own here. I Literally, I text him. I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm at I the bar across the street. He's like, I'm in a conference room taking calls. I was like, all right. <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> if you do right. anything yeah. disgusting. Dude, that I don't – That was, first of all, that was a lot of fake tape on that. What? I, I don't believe at money that things happen. People told me. My mom told me about, about poop. That's well, it came like from your asshole. It's not like me at all. That's an unbelievable story. <laughs> Blood and poop. Dude, nice. If you do anything disgusting, like he's coming. He'll, he'll be right, in a second. Fair enough. Uh, I I think like the, the the handshake with Brittany Mahomes and like be, yeah. wearing the colors. She just adopted it so fast. So fast. if it was like five or six years ago, people would be like, "She's such a tryhard." Yeah. I think she has just ascended to a level where we might say that about her, but it just doesn't matter anymore. The it's other just, surprising thing to me was that. Brittany Mahomes embraced her. Not that that she has oh, to be embraced. I thought it was going to be no, that girl. Brittany Mahomes no, is what ta- yes. wants to be with Taylor Swift. But yes. that's what I'm saying. Like so, like if you watch the Netflix documentary, you could tell she tried so hard to be like, "Hey, I'm just going to be America's sweetheart." Yeah. And now yeah. you're going to love me, but it doesn't come off genuine. Whereas Taylor Swift, it's so it does it's so, authentic. Remember when Kanye West? And so I thought it was going to be like a thing where you're like, "Well, well, well, look who's here." Like well, mean girls well, almost. I, I think, and it might still get there. I, I think Brittany Mahomes is definitely like. Oh my god! Like, please like me, please like me, because if, if, yes. if Taylor Swift we'll gives you the pictures seal together, of approval, like mm-hmm. it, you know, all of the Swifties love you. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. The NFL hates you. That dude what? from nineteen seventy five made a stupid joke about her name. Yeah. It was like, what is she like, an Eskimo Spice Girl? And it was like, that's racist. <laughs> and it's like she's not. It's just like she, they're all so dumb. And then Taylor Swift had to go. No, you're amazing. That was wrong. <laughs> Yo, what he said. She, Ice Spice is the perfect example of. Uh, she she. Got so big so fast. Yeah, she has no fucking clue how to perform. So like her her songs might be catchy. Yeah. I don't like them, but people like she them. She might learn it. But she gets on stage and it's like all she can do is shake her ass, which I kind of respect. I have no. I we just start. We just we just started. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we we started to have we a. Already a, hit Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. Right, what's yeah, up, yeah, man? How you doing, Steve? We we on, just so started so talking about Taylor. I was like, sure. we might as well say it on the on the microphone. <laughs> we were just saying how Brittany Mahomes is probably. Brittany Mahomes is what Taylor Swift was. She's an influencer. Like five years ago. Taylor Swift is. Yeah. That, that's, that's kind she's of the, the authentic, essence of she's it. She's the real deal. Taylor, Taylor Swift? Swift? Like, yeah. as I, I was saying, like, I feel like Brittany <laughs> Holmes want, Mahomes wants to be the auth, like the America's sweetheart, and she's not. Yeah. Like Taylor Swift, completely authentic. We were saying earlier that I think, I think Taylor's using her as like a heat check. Where she's like, I can make everything so. If fucking I can awesome. touch Brittany Mahomes, she's like, if yeah. I can touch some Jackson and Brittany Mahomes and make them liked, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Jackson guy. Mahomes, I think is a lost cause. The only thing he's I- lost, he's he's like the uh, the Scott from the Kardashians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I think that's even that guy got a raw deal because he he. Uh, yeah, Scott. Is that his name? Scott? Disick? Yeah. Scott Disick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I'm thinking of the other one. Rob. I'm thinking of Rob. Rob. Oh, that guy got a raw deal. He's blood. He, 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 <laughs> he, was a, he was just like a little bit. It was a guy, and he was a little bit overweight, and the girls were like, get the fuck out. <laughs> they like outcast him from the family. The one who married in, and then when they were going to dump him, he was like, I'm going to leave a hot load inside my girlfriend. Yeah. So not written off the show. Smart man. Yeah. Dude, Rob, Rob got sent home from, I think, Kim and Kanye's wedding because he was fat. 
Yeah, wow. that's the thing, though. Can't you here. can't go. You, <laughs> they don't want to watch awkward male years. <laughs> on, 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 <laughs> they, were in, they were in, I think, Paris to get married, and he couldn't fit in like a <laughs> Valentino suit, so, so they just kicked him out. Get a tailor. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Not in Italy. Little. There's no tailors in Italy. <laughs> 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 they don't have Italian tailors. No, to, but, but to be fair, those tailors are like, we don't know how to make clothes for fat people. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they don't you know. fat Americans come up. We don't have enough fabric here. for you fat fucks. Husky fat so. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Do you remember when, when Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift and she handled it? So that's when she won everybody over. Where he was like, fuck yes. you, should have been Beyonce. And she was like, uh... Mm-hmm. Yes. Which is all you can do when a psychopath grabs a microphone. <laughs> yeah. You're like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what was she supposed to do? Grab it back or some shit? She was. Uh, she kind of handled the same way Chris Rock did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She she just, like, yeah um, so maybe he took her. You guys see that? Her lead. A crazy person that just came wild. on stage. That yeah. was nuts. I, I, I heard a little more now that because Jada Pickett has just been everywhere. Telling everybody every oh, all the awesome. business, um, <laughs> and it, it, we needed it. The country uh, yeah, needed everyone was, it. We needed distraction. The world was asking for it. Yeah. Asking for it. <laughs> yeah, I heard that Chris Rock tried to hook up with her, and like, no, uh, but no, I heard that he called her and was like, "Yo, I heard you are no longer with Will. Like, can I take you out to dinner?" And she was like, "No, no, no, we're still married." When was he, this? I don't know. Pre I, or post? Uh, pre. Oh, pre, no, pre, pre, oh, like, yeah. post. <laughs> post, hey, post would be I'm, gangster. I'm going to this is all blown over. Now that the dust is settled, can I please uh, take crazy. you out to dinner? Dude, that was a special, and he was like, listen, so you guys all know about this, but I fucked your wife. <laughs> oh, my God. That would have been That would have got a bitch. Who's a bitch now? That would have saved that wife. special. I jizzed in her butt. I didn't get into her butt. I just got up to the point of it oh. and spread it and then jizzed into it. Oh. <laughs> no, this, this was apparently pre. <laughs> and, and it was like uh, it was like respectful. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I heard. I had heard you guys were split up. And he was right. And he was right. But that was the whole point. Was she was like, well, we are, but we're not. So I'm thinking Will Smith. She probably tells him that. Whether or not they're broken up officially or not, you hear that this guy's calling and trying to fuck my wife. And then you're talking shit. Okay. I don't know. I can, I can now at least oh, yeah. sort of see where it came from. Yeah. Life. But still, it's like, <laughs> oh, you're, yeah. you're not even going to live with her, though. <laughs> yeah. You, I mean, she, no. had, she had the quote that said, so we haven't called each other husband and wife in seven years. That's that, she then. said she was like surprised about that. Isn't it and funny just, when fame goes away and for women, unfairly, it goes away faster. And it's just like, I need them looking up to me. Yeah. And they're not. So she's like, let me just do the drama route. When was she famous? Like, I, I think I missed uh, Jada Pinkett's like window. Like, she, or at least I, when I, she was I, like, I, a also, hot. I think she she's was, very popular with black people. I don't think she's as popular with, with white people. But, she, but what was but the? Big, I'm trying to think moment. of her big thing. Yeah, what the, was it? That's the thing. The red table talk is like her thing. No, no, yeah, no, but no, that's no. not she even like. like but she was in movies, or, but she was never like the leading woman. Was she in Empire? No, no, but that's later. That's just racism. You're, you're just, I, I, mean, like, I feel like <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the, 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 the let's just name black women. I, I know <laughs> this is terrible. I know her from, this is terrible. Uh, she was precious. I thought she, she gained in, weight yeah. for precious. <laughs> she was precious. She was great in the way monster. She, she was like. Let's look up her IMDb. I know she was in the movie Set It Off in like '95. God, I, I hope that. she like, was in Empire now. That was one episode. That's Miss Pat. She got an EP. I told you. Just this. What is the big thing? Oh, she was in the Matrix. She was one of the weirdos in the Matrix. I never saw that. Uh, you never saw the Matrix? She, I saw the I first think she was one like, like when one. I was a kid. But... It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty well known. It's yeah, she was around. in the Matrix Revolution, Scream Two, Scream Collateral. She was like a young movie. like. Those are her, that's her known for. And I mean, yeah, those are four, I'm trying four to think of like that. Like, yeah, it has to be something big, bigger that like we were all like, oh, this is the year Jada did this. Dude, can I, I just give props to Chris Rock for not getting an outright "how dare you" rejection? From, yeah. Like from, if you ask a, a hot woman, a hot well-known woman out, if you or me did it, they'd be like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be. Oh, I'm actually with you. somebody right now. <laughs> yeah. That implies I would, but I can't. Well, Chris, Chris Rock had like I remember as a kid, he had one of my like favorite jokes when he's talking about was it Jermaine Dupri was dating Janet Jackson. Yeah, and he was like, and you you hear that, and you realize, wait, I had a shot the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I think Chris Rock took that person. Like from now on, I was like, anytime I think someone's hot, I'm just calling him up and telling him. Wow, he had a story, Jermaine Dupri. I just saw on Instagram. Uh, he was making he he did made a lot of songs with Usher, and he was making uh, I think you got it bad in the studio, and Michael Jackson uh, was using the same studio, and they like called up and were like, hey, like Michael needs the studio. And and they were like, you know, there was a, uh, they were double booked, I think. And, and <laughs> but I'm, yeah, I rented he, it. So, <laughs> he, so then, the, and they said, uh, like, Michael, um, 
We're sorry, Jermaine Dupri rented the studio, and he said, "Who is that?" <laughs> and by that point, I mean, you know, Jermaine Dupri's not Michael Jackson, but Jermaine Dupri has had like a he million hits. He doesn't want to hits. hear that. He wants yeah. to think, "Oh, okay, I respect him. Yes. I, yes. or, I tell him I really yeah. need it. I respect his work. I love this song." Yep, yep. Instead of "Who's that?" Yeah, like, that's fuck. a tough one. That that hurt. That hurts a lot. Um, but yeah, J- Jada it doesn't. I really don't see this. She's been so that's why he much. he fucked his sister. Wait, Chris Rock fucked. No, oh, Will Smith Jermaine fucked Jada. Uh, oh, I know Jackson. Oh, oh, no. yeah, no, she was just fucking. Yeah, they were just. Oh, dating. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that point, like, do you yeah, think he was like, wonder... "I'm gonna go get." You don't know who I am. Yeah. You can remember my name. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, <laughs> I'm yes. Fuck your yeah. 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 That's I'm right. Gonna, I got, I got I completely exactly lost. You don't remember my name now, <laughs> yeah. bitch. I just fucked your si- hey, happy Thanksgiving, Michael. I'm sitting at the I came table your now. sister's mud. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, even know any of the, What are the other Jackson brothers' names? Hilarious. I think they're all dead. I think. Yeah, she was Jermaine that Tutu, bad mom. Samantha. Tutu, Tutu is not one of them. Tutu, the Bishop Desmond Jackson. No, that's not you it. know what she is really? I'm looking. She, she is just kind of like a Rev Run, like a journeyman <laughs> pitcher, like. She like is she like was, a, she was in Mike uh, Magic Mike. She was like that pimp. Yeah, she I mean, was in, oh, yeah. uh, I've she, seen who was that the one that was times. engaged to um, Jimmy Kimmel? No, not Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, Carson Daly, the Tara Reid. She's like a Tara Reid. Yeah. she Tara was kind of getting big. Yeah, but Tara Reid, oh, yeah. you can go and then like right away to uh, what's the the Van big Wilder. Wilder. Van yeah, Wilder. Yeah, like, Wilder. You know, like one. I was about to say a, the wrong movie. <laughs> I was about to say American Pie. You know, like American Pie. Wait, no, no, she's American Pie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that was uh. People forget Tom Brady dated Tara Reid. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Before he like, became he's got like, a good hit. Before hit. Seahorn's wife. Wait, no, that's yeah. uh. Yeah. Yes. Bridget Moynihan. Bridget Moynihan. Is married a baby to, with her to Seahorn. Oh, I think so. Really? Now, I didn't know that. I'm starting to think well, one athletes are just into good looks. <laughs> 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 yeah, Brady, Brady, and uh, Tara Reid were running around like Boston's Faneuil Hall in like '04. Really? Yeah. I played there. Tara Reid. Did you? Yeah, they used to have a comedy club there. Yeah, the connection. That is connection. You get fought in a lot of fights. Faneuil uh, Hall, like, unless you want to get punched in the face, at least when I used to live there, you just don't walk to the Faneuil we, Hall. I was open there for Rogan, <laughs> and they go. there was a Yankees-Red Sox playoff game, and they were like, and it was like seventh inning. And they were like, the show's going to start. And they're like, no. No, it's not. No. <laughs> yeah. No, it's and not. And I was like, oh, that's probably for the best. It was the only time I rooted against the Yankees because I'm like, I just need a good crowd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just see that happen. Yeah, that year. What year was, like, was I that? I think we were up 2 nothing, so I was like, okay, we can lose one. You <laughs> jump up on stage in Boston after a playoff loss to the Yankees and say you're a New York Yankee I'm fan. I'm here from New York. <laughs> you yeah. get fucking yeah. literally. That, th- those are the days – you probably would get beat up for that. <laughs> yeah, like, and I agree. At least like a punch to the face. There's something like, no, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, yeah, you should keep your mouth shut after a big. Dude, the 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 craziest shit I've ever seen with sports fandom was I was at I was in I was at Fordham in '03, uh, my freshman year. So I was like new to college, and there's like, what is this gonna be like? It's first semester playoff baseball, and the Yank. It was it was I think the Yankees or Red Sox won the divisional round, so the ALCS was set. They haven't even played yet, but it was just like we know we're gonna play, and. There's a lot of Boston people at Fordham, I guess. And they met outside in, like, the quad, if you will. Like, it was from a fucking movie. Like, wow. two factions. And it was like, we like fuck the Yankees. Like, they were just cheering back and yeah. forth. And I watched one guy. Somebody had a broom out. And I was okay. like, we're going to sweep you. Never good. And a guy grabbed it and cracked it yep. over his, his, his leg. And I was like, okay, this is starting to percolate. Escalate. And then I watched this dude with the broken broomstick. <gasps> he ran, like behind the the Red Sox crowd, ran through it, and jumped into the Yankee crowd, like swinging the broom, and it was just an all-out brawl. Wow. It was awesome. I was like, <laughs> this, this is, is everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Not even like yeah, yeah, right, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, This is good... everything that sports fandom should be, like violence. Fire. Yes, yep. I love yeah. it. Let's go. So they used to do bat day at Yankee Stadium, and they would play. They all had bats. They used to give out fucking <laughs> bats. <laughs> mistake. Yeah. You got to do that against like the A's where no one really And cares. then they were like, wait a minute. This isn't a good idea. Let's give the bats on the way out. So now the parking lot in the South Bronx is flooded with people that have just lost the game. That now I, with a I baseball love, uh, bat. There's always there's stories of minor league baseball teams. Anytime they've done uh, dollar beer nights, have you ever read? Like if you read up on it, there's a couple ones that they uh, all did Disco dollar beer night, most. and it's like 
it was like The Walking Dead. Like, people were puking, fighting, yeah. fucking, cra- scratching, clawing. It is – you get that many people together. The problem is everybody's a little bit Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> so you give that dollar beer, like, I'm getting my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, like you, you don't need to drink 15, but yeah. yes, I do. Yeah. I'm yeah. $15 tonight. <laughs> I got to get my money's worth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, what? It's been probably a whirlwind for you the last couple of weeks, huh? <laughs> oh, with the Jews? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with the Jews. Yeah. Well, you know, the Jews. The problem is, as a collaborator with the other side, like <laughs> the finances have been great, but fucking actually cut that out. I don't know if, I'm to say yet. if this comes out in a couple of days, you're good. But um, yeah, the next offensive. <laughs> yeah, I just try to. I don't look at any of that stuff. Do you really not? I, I would I figure. I mean, I, I would. I would understand if you don't like talk about it a lot, but I would figure you would be very invested. I haven't seen a picture. I haven't seen a video. Really? It doesn't do you any good. Does no, I agree with that. Not even I the just, ones they sent you. <laughs> that was Patrick's getting Is this your butt. cousin? <laughs> Do you see the uh, uh, Chappelle? La- I guess he talked about Israel Palestine a little bit at a show the other night. Yeah, and well, I'm doing bits about it for sure. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's great at a live show. <laughs> but people walked out, so I think the Hollywood Reporter or whatever did a story on it, and I read it, and it was like Chappelle's people, whatever, however they phrased it, said he wasn't even in Boston that night. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, it must have been like a small pop up show. So I Googled it. <laughs> he did it at TD Garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're just trolling now. They're yeah. just like, he wasn't even there. He like, wasn't even there. They sold 20,000 tickets. He so. was headlining 18,000 people. <laughs> that was a hologram. They use a hologram. That's, for him funny. Now. that's funny. Also, Very fake funny. story. People walk out. It's like, Chappelle does like three hours sometimes. I was and say, sometimes people are like, yeah. hey, I got babies. I got to go. Also, that's not a walkout. That's right. a, it's time for it's me to time leave. time to go. Yeah. Also, if like two people get up and walk out, that's not the story. Right. Like if, 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 if the audience left, yeah. then it's a story. If there's one couple that's offended, like that probably happens at every all your if, shows. Of if, every like, one of them, yeah. people get upset. If the kind of bloggers wrote about that the way they do about sports, wrote about sports the way they do about that, it would be Michael Jordan missed three shots today. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I saw him take a bad one that was heavily guarded and another one that was <laughs> yeah. pretty open. He, he finished with hit. 69. Exactly. But, you know, yeah, 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 it's crazy. That, I mean, out of 18,000 people, <laughs> if 100 walk out, you're, you're, doing, still going uh, you're in the whole yeah. thing. Right. If 100 walk out of my show, the whole show's gone. Yeah. <laughs> but also, my feeling is you want a couple people walking out. You want yeah. to be on the line. Yeah, especially, especially at couple. that point in your career, like – what do you get? Uh, you don't get anything out of everybody just laughing. It's like you want a little, you want to yeah. test the boundaries. You want to have When people walk out angry, everyone else is like, oh, 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 we're seeing something. We right. drew a line and they right. crossed it. Yeah. yeah. I, in, my, in this tour, I'm going on tour with Steve. November. Oh, yeah. I promise you a minimum or an average of three <laughs> people per show. I was going to say, you, you, do you, I, I, w- I would assume you know what you're getting into. Yeah, I mean, yes. But, I wouldn't have said but, yes had I not, but um, like I, I can't I'm not going to walk things, anyone. I don't think, but I, I'm just saying I'm going to count the walkout. In general, yeah. I don't think I can think of anything worse than, what? than touring with Ari. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. We're going to be on a bus too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've that, never that, done it on stage. Yeah. Phenomenal. No, we've never done it. Bus. Yeah. With Ari yeah. Shafir for what I'm assuming is a couple months in many it's many a cities. Lot of, it's yeah. 18 yeah. days. Uh, <laughs> Chicago, yeah. dude, like, he comes here for two hours at a time and terrorizes the place. I know. Well, I asked him I last night. I was like, "Hey, <laughs> we're doing uh, some uh, theaters and some comedy clubs," and he's like, "You know," because he said, "Like, you know, we'll just shower at the venues." Because I'm like, "All right, great," but I'm like, "Comedy clubs don't have, don't have a shower. showers." He's like, "Ooh." Oh, all right, we got to figure out what to do those days. I'm like, yeah, because we, we have to still shower <laughs> yeah, so, so those days. Not, so what's your bus? When you say bus, what do you mean? I don't know. It's like a bus. I've never seen it. We I think it does it. have a shower. Is it like an RV? I think it, No, I think it's a bus. And I think it has a shower, but I don't know how much. Do you have endless water supply to shower? I like to take 30 minutes showers. <laughs> no I, dumps, I bet right? you, I bet you uh, a no bus dumps. No dumps does not in the bus. have good showers. Water. Fresh. Yeah, I think it's going to be. You might have water, but it's like dripping, you know? Right. Which I've done, but you don't want to do that for for months. Yeah, we could stop at the Love's truck shop. We could stop at the Love's. We do love showers. showers. I've never, What's I've that? never done one of those. It's like those re- oh, those trucker stops. Oh. Love's. We, we could do yeah. laundry and can... and, and showers. And fucking kill a hooker. We... Oh yeah, dude, we, we have time. Kill a hooker. <laughs> we have time. Oh, maybe Tulsa. We got two days in Tulsa. Maybe that someone's got a tour manager. <laughs> Tulsa sure the... trucker stop is like there's the dead hooker. There's Joe. Yeah, like what are you doing? I heard it's crazy. If I Read correctly. If you kill an indigenous woman, they just won't prosecute you. <laughs> it depends on where that happens. I don't think they'll even know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't count every day. Yeah. They don't count That's, them up. 
the uh the we did a, a tour way back in the day uh like the barstool blackout tour we do like all these colleges and these parties what is it you make blacks outside <laughs> no, it was yeah. just a, a, it was the it was a Molly get out. Yeah. Tour. <laughs> we used to we used to call it a music festival, and then everyone else called it a drug tour. That's and funny. we were like, no, it's just about the music. And twenty years later, we're like, it was just about the drugs. Yeah, about the drugs. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was in yeah. it was an EDM tour about Molly. It was <laughs> at the most <laughs> of of like we actually had Avicii play one of them. Oh, like really? right before he became like who he was. So yeah, was, like right was... before David Guetta and Calvin Harris and all that shit. So we we timed it perfectly, and we made up. Fuck ton of money. The only reason why Barstool wow. like survived was because of this tour. But we say? would we would go like we a lot of times we'd stop. Hit those... stop recording on any of these. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, if you just want to come in quickly, make sure it's not recording. Every... I mean, whatever. I mean, <laughs> we would. Uh, we would... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Did she stop recording? One she yeah. record a whole fucking she, thing. She's done that about four or five times. <laughs> 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 we would stop at those truck stops and stuff like that, and no one would shower, and we would stink. Whoa. Uh, we would stink for like weeks. It was yeah. It was that's awful. what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't want that. It's kind of it, it. Actually, also that bus started nice. Remember? I mean, we no, got... we didn't have the bus at this time. What'd you have? Oh, we oh, had, oh, we had a Chevy Silverado. Av- av- uh, the Silverado. Uh, Silverado. I yeah, Avalanche. Silverado. No, you're right. You're right. It's Avalanche. Avalanche. Yes. But even when we eventually, when it did well, the next year they got a bus, an RV. It's like a, we got it like wrapped with the bar stool, yeah. all that shit, and it was nice for like 35 seconds. Right. And then you live in it, and yeah. even that gets shitty. So it's like, but unless we you're also, really disciplined, you guys. That's are the problem. It's gonna get farty fast. Yeah. Farty fast. I imagine we were probably partying yeah. and doing more drugs than you guys are gonna do. Maybe not. We'll drink a lot. Yeah, we gotta have a yeah. drug day. We gotta have a real. <laughs> are drug you gonna day. be like yeah. banging hoes? Banging, banging hoes. Banging hoes. <laughs> I don't know. Ask probably your, not ask hoes. <laughs> about it. Um, I feel like the, I feel like your you know yours was like uh, people coming on and partying. Like, yeah, I would like to see a book that about time. that. The heyday of Barstool. Dude, the this, real like we don't remember. Still it. had print. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I I we talk about that sometimes. Like the old, like if we could write a book about like I just don't remember. But was I, it better than the WW uh, or were the American Gladiators when they went on bus, <laughs> like, <laughs> bus tour, when they were just like doing did you, drugs? Did and, you watch that special? Yeah. That was that was uh, they were doing way, a lot of drugs. Oh my oh, god! Buddy, yeah. Dude. Oh my. Well, god. first of all, they were all doing steroids, drugs? but they were yeah, also they were, just they coked were, out of their minds. They were minds doing steroids and, and coke at the same time yeah, because yeah. they were doing like three events a day and like a hundred different things. And they were like slaves. They get on the bus. They just drink all day. and They would like you know tear a fucking peck. And, and they'd they be like, like, I got to get surgery. I'll be out for like three months. And they'd be like, well, then you're out of a job. So they yeah. just power Oh, yeah, no it. unions, right? No, they were yeah, like, they a show in Charlottesville in they were doing hours. They were doing shows <laughs> for like $100 a pop. That's, That's basically crazy. exactly what we were doing, where it's like we would yeah. break down the set. And we'd be like, we got to be in fucking wherever University of West Virginia is. Mm-hmm. We got to be at University of Indiana now. And like we'd break it down and start driving at like 3 a.m. Um, so, yeah, maybe that's why they we did it. They did it for like three different, three like college years, like the like when school was back, you know? Uh-huh. It was like a tour of duty. I remember being wow. like, "You guys, like, I hope you make it back." You know? Wow! Oh god! But I, I, I would imagine you guys will be a little more tame than that. We'll wow. be more. Tame. How many times are we going to see your balls? Oh, Over god. under so many times. I, I think exclusively. <laughs> I think you'll. I would see imagine you'll have no clothes on. Yeah. That entire fucking. House <laughs> yeah, I'm packing dude. one pair of underwear and I'm not wearing it. Are you? Do you have like a driver? We got a driver. I don't know who yet. We've I, never done this. I'm pretty excited yeah, about it. Yeah, I've I've I mean, already Bert's done out it a bunch, and Tom and which bunk I want to sleep in? What I, higher I wanna, or lower? I, yeah, I don't want to be lower because I just feel like your dick cock is, is gonna right be there. Yeah, <laughs> he's you're gonna have a little it's like curtain, be like a glory hole, and he's just gonna like <laughs> yes. it, like a, a, a dick's just gonna open the curtain. But like, then the up one, I think you're just gonna be looking. Then <laughs> yeah. it'll be like well, if you're, so you're, you're either seeing this, you're seeing this. You see like a low budget movie where the boom comes in. It'll be that with balls. It'll just be like. <laughs> oh god dude. i gotta be on a low bunk because i i got an old urethra and i piss a lot at night mm. how many times oh shit. seven or eight. Oh so. my seven or eight pisses yeah. a no, night that, that, really, really some nights i how just keep getting up like 50 almost 50 wow whoa i'm on blood pressure medicine i don't pee five times a night i, I get up like once or twice and I, i'm like oh my god i'm gonna die soon i feel really? like mortality i used to just like hit the What's pillow normal time wake up day? in the morning 20 how many times do you piss at a day? I piss a lot. He, he pisses a lot, but it's not 20. But like... You drink a lot of water too? You drink a lot he of does. water. He does. Yeah. He slugs you piss a lot clear? Water. You got to piss clear once a day, Ben, she says. Or, oh, I piss or, clear or... almost exclusively. What? Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah I piss clear I'm if healthy, I drink dude. a decent amount of water. But what, yeah, I think... Uh, what do you, do you drink coffee all day long? Sometimes. Yeah, I just where I just have like, you know... <laughs> I can't, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I can't <laughs> sleep past six. 
Yeah. Because then the, I have yeah. to pee at six in the morning. I, I getting I get up and once once my brain turns on, I just have the existential dread again and the anxiety. You try to stay that. asleep while you have to piss. I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> you have to piss. You're like, you're, you're rock hard because your dick's like we got nowhere yeah. to put. We got nowhere to go, dude. Just filling it's it up. Fi- like yeah. Blue. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. In my pores, it's just coming out. Oh god. <laughs> it gets hard for the base up. Like you're. Like, you know, that that is a transition to old when you wake up hard and you're like, this isn't horny. This is not good hard. I'm literally full of. Piss. <laughs> yeah, this is not full of piss and vinegar. Yeah, yeah it's terrible. <laughs> like, do you this is not nut. Piss. I gotta get out. Do you? Uh, do you go, like to go to therapy or anything like that? I've done it before. I got no yeah. problem with it. I'm just l- too lazy. <laughs> I feel like you're you, you're uh, you're just very like chill and I'm pretty like, chill. Like yeah. like like, <laughs> w- will you get anxious about anything? Like I'm just I'm discovering. I'm, I never really cared about anything. I'm always just like whatever, just kind of floating through life. Never thought I would be like I have anxiety or I have like shit I need to work through. I was just gonna be like Irish Catholic guy that just shoves it down yeah. and lives my life. And then all of a sudden it just started happening, and I was like, yeah, I didn't fucking you smoke sign a up lot for this. or you don't. No, when I smoke sometimes or on a podcast. I'll have like w- going great for an hour, and then one joke doesn't work, and it's like. Oh, everybody hates me. Yeah, everybody okay. hates me. Fuck, fuck, All right, fuck, good. fuck, fuck. I'm happy you go through that too. Yeah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. It's I crazy. Just, That's exciting. I didn't know what it was at first. It would be just... him who's like, I don't fucking care. I don't know. You know, when I'm but high, I... when I'm high a lot. When but you're high, you do care or don't care? I do care. Do it's care. like it real anxiety. Yeah. And, but it's like, that's the fun of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. The roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> I'm feeling you know? it. I'm feeling and then something then back, now. then you see a bird, you're like, fucking life is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get it? Uh, I get it. I, I never get the Booze anxiety a lot from, weird, from, from weed. I, yeah. I'm always just like, I'm, I don't get too high either. It's just like, I'm always just pretty good from it. Louis Katz has a joke about it. New special just came out. But, um. It's uh, marijuana, you know, weed. It means no worries. And then one day, it meant all the oh, worries. Yeah. <laughs> it just changes. It, it's a very funny thing. It's like, you know, you smoke to, like, not be stressed. But if it goes wrong, it causes it all the stress. It can send you off. It's like, yeah. Yeah. well, what the fuck? Booze, I've started to realize, if I drink a lot, the right New York amount. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And then I start getting, like, anxiety. And, like, yeah. then it's like, uh, I wake up the next day with it. It's just like, fuck. Mm-hmm. That, that one. Yeah, I'll get that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, the, I'll get the anxiety pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> the, hang, the anxiety? Yeah. Yeah. I feel, yeah. I feel like a bag of shit the next day. And you're like, you didn't do anything today. You're unproductive. Here we go downward. Productive. I, I've, I've been drinking less. And, like, productive is. I'm like, I could, this is pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. I, got, I, went, I, can, I, I for sure see the difference. Yeah. I went to the market today. This is yeah. like, I'm like a functioning adult. Yeah. But you know what feels really productive? When you, you know when they say the left and the right go so far over, they meet again? You know, they okay. both hate something so much that now they've become the same. Yeah. When you drink so much that at 7 a.m. you're leaving a bar and you're like, it's light out. <laughs> yeah. I feel so productive. Either go home at 11 or 7. Yeah, 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 not yeah, in exactly. between. You're fucking. Yeah. Dude, one, one time we did, I did. I was out at a bar with a buddy who was um, – he, like, was friends with – he owns he owns a couple bars and he's friends with, like he – he has a liquor with – what's Rihanna's husband? ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. He's got a liquor with ASAP no Rocky. And this was at, like, midnight. He's like, yo, I think ASAP's going to come by. And I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. And he's like, he's like I think he's going to bring Rihanna. And I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. And I waited for that dude <laughs> until 8 a.m. drinking. Oh, yeah. And then and I just kept drinking. I just showed up at work. I was like, I just wow. went from the bar to work. And I was walking home in that daylight being like, this is not productive. <laughs> that, that was the exact opposite. <laughs> and he never the, showed up. Part never of me, showed part up. Of me, no. I remember that when you were telling me that story, like, what would have happened when he showed up? Yeah. Been, you would just be like, it would have been <laughs> shit. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were real. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was like, I was like, I can't go home. Like, what if he comes? It's a good story. Yeah. And then he just never fucking came. I just had to walk to work. Just shattered. Still made a good story. <laughs> At what time <laughs> were you show. like, I don't think he's showing up? <laughs> oh, dude, like, like 2 11 o'clock. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. it, it probably it came up at like midnight. By 2 a.m. I was like, all right, he's for sure not coming. Because the bar we were at was never open. So like, it wasn't like he was coming to like a club. That's right. Uh, yeah. The right. bar. That makes was, it a little difference if you feel like you're doing some after hours closed. Yeah, thing, it was just like a closed bar, and it was so it was just us pouring our own whiskeys for eight hours in the waiting. pocket for six <laughs> hours later, <laughs> at two in the morning. You're like, now, nah, but I'm gonna hang this thing till eight a.m. Because then I convinced myself, I'm like, the later I stay, the better story it is. That, yeah. Like he came at there, six. There's, there's yeah. nobody yeah. better. Yeah. Nobody better than committing to the story than John. 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 You. I think. I feel like you do things exclusively for the story. One hundred percent. Like everything. It, it, I, he go, he, he goes to the movies. Yeah. He likes the movies. Anything outside of that is just material <laughs> for the podcast. 
hopefully it'll be it's not even material for the podcast it's like but it, yes it's obviously it is yeah yeah, yeah. but it it's like be. it's yeah. material for like life where it's like i don't know like people don't get to do this like yeah. this is something i almost think it's a great take, way to live take it like it's like a, a social contract you have with other human beings where it's like when they meet me i have things to talk about because yeah. i did shit and then if i'm like bro there is nothing worse than uh than not having stories like do you have kids yeah too yeah like I, I don't know about you but just once like with the parents yeah just like the kids life started and all i do is just kids stuff now and then yeah talk you talk that. to the other parents and you're just yeah. like what Their is stories. your kids yeah interests is your yo Which your travel dances? team are they playing yeah on? and it's just like they none of this I mean, it matters to me even my own kids i'm like these stories suck about my kids yeah. i don't want to talk about you it. just want to be like one time i waited till eight in the morning for asap rock <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that's like my, really you know, who i am you're right you're right yeah, yeah. That, that what's really funny is there's probably one or two dads i know that i'm like you're cool still and i doing mean stuff. like cool no, not yeah. even i don't even just like you're a dude we, you could have a podcast probably you could sit down with us and we could talk like this yep there then there's some tolerable ones you know and but i'm like but you guys all had to have been like just regular guys at some point, yeah, right? right? So like, wh- like did did or am I just am I, am I a loser too and I don't realize it? You know what I mean? Like uh, most of the time, I look at a bunch of a bunch of the dads and I'm just like, oh god, like please don't talk to me. But I'm sure but they had to like me. like you yeah. know what I mean. And it's like I see you guys become parents. Well, you I knew before and become parents. And you see that more and more, and then you're like, but I know that you're a piece of shit, right? Like, yeah, dirt. And balls. I know yeah. the slutty women that have become moms. Yeah, and it's like, oh, that's probably all of them. That yes. all had yeah, that, they I all went to high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I don't know. I, I maybe I feel like I stay a little bit more like in tune with shit or younger, or I just I, that's I, what it is too. Do you yeah. think they just? Do you think the parents just change? And when they hear something bad now, they're not like I used to get like that, or they just go. I think oh, I, I, I think a lot of the moms do. I don't know about the dads. I, I know the moms turn from like turn. fun party girl to like. I would, yeah. not me I would never and it's like, we, we were talking about Tampa, that the other day you know? when like Kevin, we were talking about like when we were kids and Kevin was like I just hated the disappointed like when my parents said like oh we're disappointed in you yep. and I was like I didn't that didn't bother me because like I knew they weren't when my parents were like <laughs> like when you oh. like, you left the house and I threw a party no fucking shit you knew I was going to do this it's what you did when you were a kid you're not like disappointed you'd be disappointed if fucking no one came and I couldn't I couldn't, get a, party, I couldn't, I couldn't like get a party house. together yeah. Yeah. Like, that yeah. would be a disappointment that, that is <laughs> sure <laughs> disappointment you have 70 extra yeah. Yeah. Cases of booze. Yeah. <laughs> if I came home, there were two kids and seventeen cases of beer. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, my you kids guys are losers. <laughs> get that would be like dragons door. out of my house. Yeah. Like, wouldn't that oh. genuinely be more disappointing to you if I couldn't get people here? Yeah, I guess the rager. Then I'm like, my kids popular. Sure, like we lost your wedding ring and the <laughs> hamster's missing. But imagine, like, yeah. imagine if one of your kids came to you like, Dad, I tried to have sex with this girl and I, and I, I couldn't get a hard on. You're like, I'm so disappointed. Loser. <laughs> oh, what a dork. <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, oldest is fourteen and oh, eleven. Oh, okay. So you're you're a little bit ninth yeah, grader and a sixth ahead. grader. So I can't even imagine when it gets. You like guys that. worry about fucking them up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> almost exclusively. Uh, as soon as my not kids on a daily them. basis, but sometimes I'll get like a hey, I don't feel good about this, and I'm like, oh, I don't know how to. I don't. All right, shit. <laughs> do you like okay? Homework. Do you like at, like like um? I was watching a TV show. I also don't have kids, and I was watching. I think it was like watching Modern Family or something mm-hmm. like that. And they were like, we got to go talk to Alex. Like, how often I are you that. doing that? Oh. Were you like, we need to go have a talk. Have talk. Not, not, oh. And it wasn't like a serious oh. thing. It wasn't they're in trouble. It was just like a, let's, like, how are you doing? I think they thought Alex was lying about a boyfriend or something like that. And they were trying to tell her it's okay. I've seen that episode. To they go, to, they go to her fucking, uh, they like go to her dorm room, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, from, we don't, I'm trying to think like the last time we were like, we have to do this together. Yeah. Normally, it's like you got to tell him to knock this shit off. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm, I'm going on the road this week. Like, yeah. like he can't come home at that time. Whatever. Like, so it's like. But I'm trying to think of the last time we were like together where we had to be like, you have to. No, my you oldest you is boy. Boys yeah, and two girl, boys. Just boys. Yeah. I feel like when you have a girl too, that's like the, the dad go yell at the boy, the mom yep. do the girl talk. But two boys, I feel like you can just kind of be like, shut the fuck up and knock it off um, a little more. Yeah, I feel like the the older one is a lot easier to manage. I f- we're gonna get into the weeds with my younger one. He's gonna be one where we're gonna be like, you ready. We have to have a talk with him after after dinner today. Yeah, together. So Dude, he's, I, he's I, we're a united front. All oh, right. So we can't about turn you against anything. any like he because yeah. he's like he'll he pushes more than my older one. Yeah. My older one is the opposite of you. He cares about what we think of him. Disappointed to him would be the worst. devastating. Yeah. Really? The younger one would be like, Dude, let me talk. Well, yeah, let me talk to your older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got. He's the one. I'm like. He's good looking. He's smart. He's 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 got a lot of friends. So I'm like, 
oh, this could be bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the younger one sees him not taking advantage of what he has. He's like, you should be doing this, this, and this, dude. Are you, are you, uh, like, do you pay less attention to the younger one? No, no. We we have to pay more attention to yeah. the younger one. I, I he demands. That- he's a lot more, like, he's needy. That's, I always think with my siblings where I'm like, you guys, and I, I, you said your youngest, younger, is is kind of like, you should be doing more. But like with my siblings, I'm like, you guys owe me the fucking What? World. They're younger than you? Yeah. You but like, you you oh, yeah. You, yeah. I fucking, I went through that force with a machete. Like, <laughs> there's the no, math. I got arrested like five times before I turned 18. Like, there was, there was uh, nothing you could do. Yeah, you broke that. a lot of glass. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> if you were just a functioning human being, you were fine. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Are they all like... Oh, yeah, they're all very yeah. successful yeah. people. Yeah, you, right. need, you need people to be put in prison, so you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that older brother. But I didn't get in punishment. trouble. Like, I, I, my parents would kind of yell at me a little bit, but, like, they would just be like, what the fuck dude <laughs> like, it wasn't i like that they it was almost like i got them ready for like like the kids like no it's almost like they just expected kids to do this so when the other siblings didn't do it they were very good i was just a regular kid they were angels mm. steve's kids they switched because when when the second kid was born the first kid i don't know if he didn't like it or yeah whatever, he would try to but he would i saw him walking around the kid just kind of walking around and it's a baby kind of on the floor walking around and then looking at his parents and as soon as they didn't, they weren't looking. And he wasn't looking at me because I'm just a friend. So he just went, and he was just like, like yeah, like the first kid. Yeah, and he started crying. Yeah, he like, would he's try crying. to. And I'm like, yeah. I saw what you did. Yeah, I I saw it. Yeah, it was amazing. He was like just walking. Or he's getting bullied by a newborn. Yeah, you didn't see shit. One time bitch. I saw keep him keep shut and shove him over the front step like this, and then pull him back and go, "I saved you like that." Like. <laughs> 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 that's that's some, shit that yeah, scares me like, like psychological like, what if, what damage. if you have a fucking that's what if you got one of those yeah kids. but yeah. now yeah. that's worked out of him now he's just sort of like kind and sweet and like thank okay, god yeah yeah system. but the younger one's like <sighs> very needy now I, yeah, yeah. I have your life in my yeah. hands <laughs> yeah that's it I saved you I was like holy shit <laughs> I like that gaslighting <laughs> yeah, your dude, siblings crazy yeah. I mean my mm. kids are like I I see some of the other kids who are a, a bigger handful and I'm like, oh, my kids are are good, easy. You know? Yeah. Because I see some of the other dads who are just like, Ooh, like so and so is is a handful, and I'm like, yeah, that seems like it sucks, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll always be like, yo, like oh Shay or Keegan is great. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I see their kid. I'm like, oh yeah, no, really. <laughs> really? <laughs> do you, Do you have any like? I have a fear of like trying the being the dad that's trying to hang on too long, like being like the that's lit. Oh, yeah, no. oh, that yeah, sucks. Yeah, that yeah, sucks. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. Just that's, be a, uh, I, I have there's got to be a middle ground. Yeah, I've always like aged with my audience, uh-huh. sort of like as we've done this show. Like I was a yeah. young single guy, got married, got divorced, had kids. We've like I was cutting edge with music. Now I'm not. Like so, I've kind of done that with with my job. I don't know what how 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 it's gonna work. My kids are eight and seven, so yeah. they're just getting to where they're even learning that stuff. I feel um, like you you say that now, and you can probably answer this better. Like you say it now, like it's easy to age appropriately. But then you I see like one of the younger dads being cool and be like, "Why do they like him so much? Because yes. he yeah. fucking talks like that." Yeah. All right, I'll do it. Yes. I'll fucking but you do can't it. Yeah. Fake it. Yeah, yeah you can't. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't think I'll ever be like the old dad just by a product of this job. Yeah, you do this. But so I think I'm happy there because some of the other dads. I look at some of the dads and I'm like, again, to go back to that earlier conversation, where I'm like, how are we? Even in the, the same, same thing, it's like yeah. their polo shirt tucked into their khakis, wearing oh, like their loafers, and, and they they immediately <laughs> have like the bald head on their. You know, it's like you turn, you went from twenty five to forty five. Yeah, you, like lit, that, yeah, you, know? you aged quickly. Yeah, dude. and I'm like, I mean, probably, probably people probably look at me with a fucking backwards hat on and a hoodie, and they think I'm an asshole too. Yeah. But like, I think there's somewhere in between. But I just don't want to be the the. I don't have to be the coolest. I don't want to be the lamest. Yeah, so. I know. I, I'm like that's cap. Yeah. <laughs> like, Shut no, the fuck dude. up, dad. Yeah. But I was like, bull cap. I said that, and they were like, that's funny, dad. I was like, oh, that's cool. My brother, bull his cap. kid said something. His kid was like, they live in, in uh, Europe, and he goes, uh, he goes, oh, dad, that's sus. And he goes, my kid's so creative. And I'm like, that's not. Wait, do you think your kid invented sus? Goes, <laughs> Did he not? I'm like, oh, I'm afraid he didn't. Wow. Something up there, and I goes, that's not nearly as creative. And I'm like, no, it's you not. got into a habit of saying hella. Hella, yeah. 
Hella? Oakland Ties. Bro. I could fuck with Hella. Yeah. You can't say Hella. It's the Bay. He says I a can. lot. If you're <laughs> from the Bay, you can't just like start saying Hella if you're from New York. That's not true. Madonna, a Madonna's starting a British accent. Saying hella. <laughs> what if you're doing this to someone from the Bay? <laughs> yeah. Can you get the Hella license that way? Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, you get your N-word license depending on who you're having sex with too. But that's a, that's a, that's a really different, need to Different writing. line to wait in. You got to have a, you a, a certificate. Yeah. Show it all you're saying. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, dude. Hella kid. rules. Hella. <laughs> hella. Oh, I mean, I know hella is it cool. Too. It's just like you can't. It's not. You're wrong. I do pull it up. Uh, <laughs> you are a bizarre creature in that, like, <laughs> I don't know. You, you know, you can pull off weird things. Yeah, I don't pull off everything. I do pull off hella. You're you're pulling off everything right now. Thank yeah, you. yeah, like no, this is. is you know, this, this is a fifty-year-old man. This is this is this is maybe my favorite Irish movie. Yeah. Yeah. I really let it go. I yeah. Yeah. Forrest Gump for Halloween with the running Forrest Gump. Hell yeah! <laughs> with the trucker cap, That's it really great. looks like him. That is oh. great. Yeah, um, no, this is this is you could do this till I you're st- like hundred. I, I, I shaved everything in April and then I haven't touched it. Look at this. Look at this thing. A connects in the back what there. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why not? I mean, you can cut that, dude. I know. Now, nah, if you're doing it like you're doing it, you can't touch yeah. anything. You gotta commit. You gotta. Yeah. I don't think, dude. Turn your head sideways. Don't touch it. That's disgusting. Yeah, no, you no, don't no. need to. Do you got no. You got to be all in, so man. Much you got to be all in. <laughs> the um, I saw on uh, Instagram the other day you posted the um, Grammy consideration for Jew. Oh yeah, that's awesome. First we'll of all, see. Jew is like one of my favorite specials Thanks. in a, like is a that, while. Can, can anybody do that? Or you yeah, have to, did you like, just think you have to that? pay and submit. To be like, or just be like, but like, if it sucks, could you still get that? Or do they, I does that, you does that, could. does, or does you having that, no. does that mean it's like a certain level of good? Um, it's a good question. Yeah, because they have to do some research, but they they can't leaf through everything. Like, no. what if it's like a Golden Globe? They don't look at like the handmade. That, that, that's movies. what I'm saying. Like, it, it, there's got to be some. Yeah. Cut so off. you didn't do that. Uh, Louis produced my album. He just did the album part of it. CK. He's like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, is this fucking hella cool to have you on there? <laughs> he did it. <laughs> is it well played? Hey, so I start season. darting around. <laughs> if you don't think that's working, you're Delulu. Uh, <laughs> Delulu. <laughs> uh, but I think he like submitted it for me. What do you think the chances are? Zero. Zero? Uh, maybe a I nomination. Disagree. I'm an outsider. A maybe nomination? A nom- they get, there could be like they get one outsider nomination a year. So, so what so What do you think the ones are? The Jews in Hollywood? All the well-known like, ones. Yeah. That's the way it always is. There's it always could... like Saget and fucking suddenly Susan or whatever. But Louis won recently, right? He, Louis. Yeah. He won for exactly Sorry? Was it Sorry? Was it Sorry or was it the next one? Wait, what, what, what is it for? Like uh, uh, Best uh, comedy, 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 comedy album, album right? Yeah. Comedy album. Louis, we were all talking about it. Like, how did Louis win with all the like, things? That's anonymous voting. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but don't you think that, like, that means It's possible. But a lot of times I think they just go, who are the famous ones? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know so who you're up against? It'll definitely be like, I don't know who else is. Like Bargatze, I'm sure we'll have one, right? If he came out with one that I year. No idea. Gerard Mullaney, for sure. They're going to be like. Yep. They don't have to watch. They're just like, we like those guys. In 2022, guys. it was Chappelle with the closer. Chappelle. Randy Rainbow, Louis C.K., Patton Oswalt, Jim Gaffigan. Randy Chappelle Rainbow? Went. Yeah, who's Ra- Randy Rainbow? Randy he's Rainbow. The, he's the outsider. A little brains, a little talent. Oh, he's the outsider? He's the outsider there. You could be the outsider, dude. I could be the outsider. Mm-hmm. Let me. I think, I, I mean, like, I, I think it was. If I were nominated for a Grammy, it would be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they almost I can't mean, do that. Well, just because of the ramifications, right. yeah. like they so will know see how you, you look. Run a mall with that. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> you would be such a colossal <laughs> asshole about it. That if I want to grab, oh, I'd get like a full necklace and I just have it all the time. <laughs> like in, in Thirty Rock, when Tracy Jordan wins the EGOT. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. This article is like you know controversial, mistakenly thought to be canceled comedians. Dave Chappelle and Louis C.K. are among Grammy. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, why not? I, I when I saw yours, I was like, I was like, I didn't think that was ridiculous at all. I thought, I thought Jew was so like special as a special. And, it like, does feel unique and great. That I, it I does like, feel I can see different. This being, it does feel different. Yeah, yeah it's not. Just it's not like just your bits. average. Comedy yeah, no, special. it's great, but. But still, I'm a. But cunt. he's are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, but still, there's a phone yeah. behind yeah. you that. Uh, I had to yeah, get that a new phone one. case right there. That's that's your Why? just your work. It, what do you it, mean? In that phone case is my phone that Ari came on the show with a man pawn in his ass. Yeah, and that, put it on my phone. And that day I had to go get a he, new he phone. He reached in, <laughs> pulled out 
That's the that's, phone that you put that's, on that's your man. <laughs> Hold what? out the bloody. See, these are the hijinks I'm worried about. Yes. <laughs> that's why I said you're fucked, dude. That was, he came here for one hour and tore it apart. He had to go get a new phone for $1,000, by the way. What? And you got a new phone? I got a new phone. I, I was like, I'll never. He, he, we, we, you we were just we, done we, with we it? We were talking I, about the league. No insurance? We, I did. No insurance. A brand new, that was a new phone. I was like, I need this the same one. You spent $1,000. <laughs> $2,000, Because we said, what? we said it was like the league. We said it was forever unclean. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was like, I know it's like, we could, we could. Clean it with fucking hand sanitizer, I but I will so. always think about this. It was forever. like it's I was up. like I can like, yes, I, I it wasn't a germs thing. I was like, I, like germs, I don't really care about. It was like you could wash it. I'll never be able to have like a, yeah, a, like look at a sexy picture some girl sends me. I'm like it's just all <laughs> these fucking cool. assholes on this. I can't like everything. It would just be, I, was like, I can't spend every day all day That's thinking about our perfectly Shafir. good phone. So what? So you bought a new phone? He really phone. should have just gone in the back with that one. And like, here's your new phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you very Explain much. Explain the situation. Same as just have him do that yeah. for you. What? How much did you spend on it? I, I think it was like 1800 bucks. No. <laughs> Wait, why was no. $1,800? It was a brand new phone. I had to pay off my... I had to pay oh, off right, that right. one. Oh, right, right. 1800 God. I, 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 you, you, you should get an invoice for two grand. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I, I refuse to take your money right for now. it. What? But it the was... The Jew had one right now was right going, now. oh, my God. <laughs> I wish $1,800? It was... It, I don't know. The, it was something... But it, it was, it was, I remember it was, being a lot because I remember going, holy shit, Ari fucking ran you for a good check. No. <laughs> Why do you have that much money on you? You never know when you come across a cash game. What are you? Cash game? What is this, rounders? I never know when I'm going to come across a cash game. <laughs> you got it on you? Damn. You got I'm it on not, you? I'm not. No, no. Take that money back. No, I could turn this into two grand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make my bunny back. Wow. Fuck, the the ass pawn phone. <laughs> I like this version better than your. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God damn. Uh, I never know when I'm going to come across it. <laughs> 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 I, really, what, uh, how long is the tour for? This 15 one's 15 days. days, but I got a full. I got a full. You know what you got to do when you go to Chicago? You got to dump all your shit out. What do you mean? With, like Dave Who? Matthews did. Oh, that was there. Yeah. Wait, what do you do? Dave this Matthews. Is the best story. Dave Matthews bridge. like hates this story being told. And Ch- Chicago hates Chicago. Him, right? Like they were driving over some bridge in Chicago. I don't know which one it was, and they just dumped their septic tank on the bus, which is a very illegal thing to do. And you, you got to go to like a proper go spot to a and dispose of it. Like really. it was. Um, it was eight hundred pounds. <laughs> eight hundred pounds of human shit, and there was a, a tour boat going under the bridge, and it oh. just. Landed on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was that? Probably some dumb What driver. would you say <laughs> if I dumped it on your face? <laughs> I think what he's addressed it like once <laughs> yeah. ever and was like, Dude, I, I hope we have that They're all shit. covered. Like, hope- what was that? Yeah. He's like, it was a satellite. <laughs> it, it was. <laughs> we got a, <laughs> we got a I can't believe there's no, I guess it was, it was, no it was 2004, the so there's no like cameras or anything. Like, oh, yeah. imagine Those the, the video of that. Anyway. People just be like, oh, my God. It's shit. What the fuck? And then Dave Matthews shows like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It was uh, they owed in 2005 legal settlement. They agreed to pay 200 grand to environmental protections and other projects. Wow. The bands also donated 100 grand to two groups that protect the river. I don't give a fuck about the river. I want to talk about like, the people you dump. We should have just waited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. Somebody took a hot dump on the bus, which is not allowed. Yeah, 800 pounds. 800 pounds. <laughs> so much shit. I mean that 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 is they they probably were like yeah we drove from fucking New York to this to that to this and they were like we'll dump it at the next stop we'll dump it at the next spot we'll dump it at-. there was probably some guy who was like there's eight hundred pounds dude <laughs> <There's> <laughs> like, it's, like the bus is like weighed down yeah. from shit we have to the yeah. bottom what do you think a single dump like not a single turb like a single dump weighs three well, pounds you guys ever do three this you weigh yourself right before and right after no you got to do that yeah weigh yourself right before right after piss before so that doesn't get that doesn't get as part muddy of, you know, the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you piss can't and that. stand up, way, way, sit back down, dump. I used to do it every day. I would call Nick Yusuf and I'd be like, "What do you think today?" And then I'd <laughs> show him a picture of the dump. <laughs> I'd be like, what's the, "What's the oh difference?" This says <laughs> this says the average poop weighs between a quarter pound and a pound. So when you, you get oh. a quarter pounder, so my three dump. was way off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you take way three, off. You take, no, I think you've taken three pounds. South Park at the Cape on occasion. Yeah, I'm like almost exclusive. Well, yeah, I mean, think about it. Your average, your average shit is if your average shit is a pound, you. Had ones that are triple. No, oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Do you ever you ever go to the website ratemypoo.com? Rate my poo. Yes, I yeah. have. Uh, I've seen rape my poo, and it's <laughs> oh, not <gosh>. for watching. 
<laughs> my buddy used to go to all time in high school. It was just like save it as like the computer homepage. Oh, wow. rate, rate my, my poop is now rate my pussy. Oh, wow. whoa! It redirects. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's, that's a vast that's much different. better. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite yeah. a turn. <laughs> Poo.com. So what? Then yeah. they just rate it. Or and, like, and it, the, and the public would rate it. Was it? A, it was. What's that? A doctor? Rated? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were like, <laughs> get to my office immediately. Dude, Not I, heavy. I, I actually went to a gastroenterologist recently, and it was like a, a very pretty woman, and she was like, hold, like basically like holding up like a diagram of like drawings, and she's like, can you point to the one that your fecals look, your feces look like? And I was like, like no, no, no yeah. That. Which one's the best? Which one do you find the sexiest? <laughs> one, one, seven, and nine. <laughs> Dude, this is vile, bro. The, the pussy r- one or the no, no. Uh, no. Reddit has. Right, 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 right. It, it's it just like the captions are like, I wasn't sick. expecting such a long one. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah. Dude, you guys <laughs> I, I, I to friends, don't you? You, I don't you said know. Boobs. more often. Than you said boobs to fucking strangers, let alone if friends. they're good ones. Dude, I had one that was all. Oh, I showed it to you last time. It was all like gummy <laughs> yeah. or blood and, and or some mixture. Disgusting. Last Do you time was an wrong with you're going on the road with this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I know him because I'll be honest with you guys. I had an issue about a month ago where I had a little blood in it, and I was like, I was ready. If I didn't ha- know him in my life, okay. I would have been like, oh, I'm going I'm to the, I'm dead, <laughs> yeah. I'm going. But meanwhile, I'm like, oh, this is par for the course. Yeah. <laughs> no, if that happened to me, I'd be like, I have ass cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You should get right it inspected. Away. But yeah, my doctor maybe. ruled it out. He goes, no, it's just like a horrible hemorrhoid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't you always have hemorrhoids? Yeah, you had to get it blown out, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they blow out. They they blow up like a like a balloon. It's just like so you 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 just push so hard and your asshole explodes. Yeah, that yeah. is so. Yeah, don't you just, like your asshole stop no. before your asshole explodes? <laughs> you could, but then how are you gonna get that shit out? How do you get no, that shit out? But I don't know. I'd rather like go up in there with my hands before I just oh. let my asshole blow out. Oh, that's, how <laughs> that's how Elvis died. That's how Elvis died. What? Elvis died in the to- toilet. Trying to push <laughs> out a poop. <laughs> trying to push out a poop. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I mean, so you you've known him forever, right? So like, very long. So you, you, it's not like years. you're gonna get surprised. By no, this. no, no. But did you have any thoughts? Any trepidation? Like I shouldn't do this. I mean, yeah, I still have committed 100 percent to getting on the bus. It's we're a week away from yeah. getting on the bus. No, yeah, I believe you, know, you when you when the doors. I, I want to sh- like I keep I texted him once like you got a, a link to this bus and he's like no I haven't seen it yet I'm like I really want to see this bus before we get on it yeah for real though. I don't want to get on Minneapolis like, November second we'll yeah see. did you did you like skimp on this did you buy a no we got a, like bus? a real did bus. You- it's just like, I'm not going to wrap it like, like dork friends. Yeah. That's, that's uh, fair. Oh, How much does it cost? Yeah. Uh, like 30 grand or something like that. 30 grand. I don't think that's going to buy but you But as a opposed bus. to like three oh, that's flights a, that's and how much three a car hotels. Costs. But, yeah. that's, but you're just renting it. For We're just renting days. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't buy a bus. Yeah. That, that's, ex- that's expensive. Imagine trying to find a garage space in New York for a bus. Dude, you got to go to Jersey City to fucking park it. We had one. We had an RV we kept for like two years. Just wasted. You got to go to Jersey City to fucking park it. We had one. We had an RV we kept for like two years. Just wasting money. To have. Yeah. Just in a spot. That was another. Just spot over in Jersey. We. We. Did not dispose of the shit properly, and it like sprayed all over the fucking. No uh, shits on the park. bus, and I'm saying that no <laughs> shits on the bus. Look, you I'm going to 100 percent agree with you on that. But, I'll shit you in know, the woods. <laughs> if there's no options, if we're driving and it's like there's going to come a time where you are moving <sighs> and you're like, I got to shit. I shit in the woods with O'Neill. That's the other guy going with us, Ryan O'Neill from Boner City. But uh, we were hiking, and I just had to shit. And I, he was like, "Well, we're hiking," and I was like, "In Runyon Canyon, in like L.A." That's and like, I was like, I'm going in the bushes. And he's like, you're yeah, out I mean, of you're your disgusting. mind. You Runyon's like a public park. Yeah, and then I had to yeah, wipe like, it out. It's like Central Children. Park. It's like it me was walking very around in Central yeah, Park yeah. being like, I got a shit. We're it hiding, was like, yes. just like, down, just like the path is here and it goes down a little bit. I'm like, good, just look out for me. He goes, I'm looking out. There's multiple people coming. <laughs> all of them are coming. <laughs> yeah. They're all going to see. Yeah. I had to wipe with my hands and a Pepsi Zero. Oh, God, bro. I had no choice. There was no very few leaves. They were crumbly. You wipe you with my hands and then you, you go on dirt. Zero? You rub it in you, dirt. First of all, why you, why did you have a Pepsi what? Zero on a hike? Not wipe. How did you have a Pepsi what? Zero? On a a Pepsi Zero on a hike might be the craziest part. I, we had a Pepsi Zero. I don't know. I definitely didn't find it. I'm not disgusted. That's what, what I think you, happened. So you wiped with your hand. Yeah, and then you then, Pepsi Zero it, and, and then, then like, wiped again. Yeah, and then put some Pepsi Zero. Why in would you put Pepsi Zero on your asshole? Because you want to see if you know how you put an Altoid in it. You need some sort of moisture. What do you mean? You can't. If one of those hemorrhoids falls off, the Pepsi Zero will explode. I'm a bidet guy no matter what. Volcano. (laughs) Oh, my God. Bro, I've got to be honest. That might be the most despicable thing I've ever heard. Bro, rather than just have the feeling of like, oh, I got to shit. You want to have Pepsi Zero on your asshole. I 
It's not. Me, it wasn't a preference. I would have liked to I, not I, deal I, with I it. I respect the move, but I will say you had other options. I'm going to go what? to them right now. Ready? I know you don't mind having your shirt off. Take off your sock. Take off your sock, shirt. Sock, shirt. Boxers. Yes. Okay. okay. Here's the problem with that. I didn't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Pepsi, you, Pepsi Zero in your hand came to you before an I've object? wiped with my hand Two before. Socks, in, boxers, in Thailand, shirt. you do that. I go one sock, bucket. one sock. I would take my boxers. Then I would do my yeah. shirt. Yeah. Was it a solid or was it all liquidy? I don't remember. We got to ask O'Neal. <laughs> he, he saw I, it. And how much was your stomach like? Hurting? You know what it's like when it's just like yeah. almost always you're like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom soon. There's all there's an occasion where you're like, it's just happening. Yeah. Okay. But so it was an extreme one. Yeah. And okay. Okay. That's, that's 30 that's minutes point. up a mountain. That's, that's my like, point. There's okay, nowhere to okay. go. Okay. I, I thought you were just like, eh, I got to go. I did it once where I, I was on a bridge in Newport and there was traffic and I couldn't Ooh. get off the bridge. Yeah, and I finally I finally got off like the, the first exit, pulled over, was like in the like, ran to the woods and I had like a like a plastic bag. Yeah. And I like shit in the bag. And then when I finished, I was like, wait, why did I do this? And I just like had a bag of shit. Just I, woods. I, I think I was like, why did I just fucking dump on the floor out here? You used yeah. the bag to wipe your ass. Yeah. Then, I didn't, so I didn't now wipe. you have I a bag of no shit way. and you can do oh, anything. No, I know what. <laughs> What'd you do with the bag? I, I, I left the you bag in the it. woods. What'd you do with your butt? I just pulled my pants up and went home. Yeah, why the bag? You just added litter. Yeah, I, yeah. it was just I added a step. I <laughs> yeah. was like, why did I bring this bag with me and shit into it? <laughs> I can't defile these beautiful woods. <laughs> I shit in a bag once. It was when uh, with Bobby's car. Yeah, but that was for a purpose. Yeah, <laughs> to get back at him. Let's get back at Bobby. We, I, so my friend was, was like, Bobby pissed on this guy's purposes. car, and he's like, and he's so mad about it. He did it twice, and he goes, "I'm gonna shit in his car." And then one time, Bobby left his car in the lot, the store, and then we told James like, "Bobby's car's right there." He goes, "I just took a dump. I don't have to take a so dump." You like, did it for him. I'll go. Mm-hmm. And you no. handed you- him the bag of shit and said, "Please." <laughs> <laughs> because you just love anarchy, or you hate the guy? You hated Bobby too. You want? No, to I'm know. friends with Bobby. I love anarchy. <laughs> yeah, That's like it. the fact that you were willing to shit in a bag to, to for someone else to yeah, get their grudge off. Yeah, yeah, is actually I I find admirable. To be yeah. honest, <laughs> that they're, friend. They're, yeah, that, I mean, friend that in is, need is a friend indeed. <laughs> that, shit. That, that, an even funnier thought is the guy being like. Oh, I would love to, but I I, I got I, I, ju- I just got. <laughs> but he it. really felt it. He wasn't yeah. like getting out of it. He was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he took a top of a box, like a Xerox, you know, box, and ripped it off, and he just went like this. A sp- oh. Like spackle? On the, yeah. on, oh, I think I've seen. Is there a video of that? I think he smeared no, it on damn. the. Door handles, so like door it was like an up and down yeah, one, so he yeah. like wiped it in there. Oh. So when he went to come in, he like and then the windshield wipers, and the windshield right? Wipers, and right. Turned the windshield wipers right. on, and when he started his car, so yeah. 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 it was. Yeah, I the know, greatest. dude. It's really vile, bro. <laughs> come on, it's <laughs> bad, bro. Yo, speaking about of, of, of on tour, we were just driving through the Midwest, and we were in. Where'd you go? We we did uh uh um Cincinnati, Columbus, and then Pittsburgh. I'll be there and in so, uh, April. No, so part of part of our drive was through. uh West Virginia was there. Ohio. Ohio. Oh, we did. West, we did West Virginia as well. But, but I mean, the, rules. we 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 went through a, a field, uh, like a manure field or something. That was just. Rancid. I mean that that that. I I found it pleasant. I I was like, which is crazy because he he usually is the one gagging like that. I was in the back seat, like it was. I, I you know you catch a whiff of manure and I was like whatever, and then it just got to the point where it was like tangy. It was like on my tongue. Yeah, you, know? you taste it, and I was just like, ah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna puke, and then Jackie's in the back going, "Don't puke!" Don't, it was, it was a bridesmaid. She was like, "Don't puke! Don't puke! Don't puke! Don't puke! puke, puke I'm gonna puke!" Oh. It was gonna, it was about to be a fucking fiasco. For I mean, it, that was a, a few minutes of straight highway of just like progressively that, smellier shit. I'm not into any of that scat stuff. No, <laughs> nothing. No. Dude, we no. we used to. Um, yeah, what uh, if a girl? Sh- sorry, go ahead. Well, uh, Asa Akira, <laughs> porn star, who you may or may not have heard of. She used to be a co-host in the show, and she's like, "I will do really? anything." <sighs> Except scat. Oh, oh, thank two, God. Two things. No, no kids, no shit. I was like, <laughs> what if you're fucking good, good somebody one. and then they just shit a little? What do you oh, mean? That's that's accidental. accidental is... Yeah, accidental shit, but like, uh, you know, this much. Know. Is it over? Is it like... No. No, no, no. this. Let's take the sheet I, off and I, keep I, going. I, I, listen. I've, I've been... Re- I've had too big of meals before. Yeah. And then try too to go at meals, it. Yeah. And it's like... I could tell. It's I've finished yeah. and then gone to the bathroom and taken a dump. But I would never disrespect <laughs> oh, my wife no, 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 no. and just shit in the no, middle but, of but, it. No, but uh, but I feel like also with girls, if something like that happens, they're mortified. They're mortified, and it's also like oh, I mean, come it's on, over. we're doing all. No, I don't. I I, I give. I, I I sympathize with them because it's like I want to 
put things in there. Yeah. I'm, I want to ram this and do that. It's like something yeah. might fall out and might get messy. You deserve a mulligan. If it's a problem, a bunch of times it's probably yeah. Open, now but I, I agree. With like you. But if, if, I, if I want to do making out, yeah. you're still oh, in your pants yeah. on. Wait a minute, lady. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm actively oh, fucking you in the ass yeah, and something horny. goes wrong, I'll give you a do-over. Yeah. If we're at first base and you're taking a shit, <laughs> yeah. there's a problem. Yeah. Dude, that butt fucking, as soon as you, like, you pull out sometimes and you see just a chunk, you got to immediately like, look away. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And you we're going, we're world. still going. Yeah. Yes. 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 You were say, in a world pretend I it didn't happen. happen. As, um, as, as we're sitting here it. being like, I'm not into like scat stuff. Like I've had more fecal matter on me than both parents <laughs> here, I bet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. One time, my son had one of those shits where he couldn't get it out. He was a baby, Ugh. and I was like, I don't, and my wife just went in, and I was like, "That's your job. That's what you do. That's what you do." I go, "I will never." I go, "We could be at your grave, and I would never put my finger in and be like, I'll get it out. That's it. It's disgusting, dude. You got to live with that. You created it. Oh my god, she just did it. I was like, you." That's what you do. <laughs> you save shit out of people. Like that's insane. Like, that's disgusting. motherly instinct. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, like, I, I, I was gonna run. <laughs> My instinct was to fucking run and get build a new one. So young kid, <laughs> we can start over. Get oh. kid. Yeah, there, there's times that, that that they have like the blowout where you're throw you like you throw out the wipes, you throw out the diaper, you throw out the clothes, and I'm ready to fucking throw the baby out too. Like, yeah, it's I don't gross. Want, if that's ever gonna happen again. I don't want to deal with that ever. That baby shit just. Thanks. It's a different color. That's how I know I'm not missing anything because I'm like, you know, you're like, oh, I love my kids more than anything. I could deal with anything. I'm like, no. And if a girl was like that and she was like, oh, I want to shit on your face, I'd be like, you got to get out of here. We're not the people for each other. I don't care how hot you are. Could you do it to someone? Shit on them? No, I mean. You could. I could do it in like a sex dungeon. No one I know. No. It'd have to be a real stranger. <laughs> I think I think you could do it. I think you would actually relish it. I think you could shit on Bert, no problem. I oh, someone I know. I think you could I, shit on someone as a speaking as a, of relish. That's nice I, to eat before. <laughs> as a, hey, I think you could do it as a joke, no problem. Oh yeah, it's a joke, no problem. I Sexually. could probably cry on someone faster than I could shit on. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, comedian Che Durena. Yeah, he he had like uh, talking to I forget the name of his podcast, but. He was talking to his co-host and she was telling a story about how she got a task rabbit and she saw the guy she thought the guy was hot and they were kind of flirting and and he was like i want you to pee on me wait and this is delivering the fucking task rabbit i mean he was in the part building something and i would do whatever oh. task rabbits do like they, they come and they like construct stuff and he goes yeah. to some str- i want you to piss on I'm, me and she was like fine <gasps> and that was the task good way in <laughs> <laughs> I, only five dollars. <laughs> five. Yeah. My plumbing's not working, and I want a short-term fix. <laughs> <laughs> and they got. On me. She got in the tub, or he got in the tub, and she started pissing on him. And she's like, "I didn't have a lot of pee. She's like, I just didn't have to pee that bad. <laughs> so he's like, "I need more. I need more." And then she like started pissing, and he's like, "Wait." This is gross. It tastes bad. What? And he got up and left, and that was what? it. What? <laughs> he second guessed his choice? Dude, wow. Imagine, you gotta be Bro, really like you gotta know too. you like piss to yes, ask a piss yes. a stranger also, to piss. Also, also, also you you're watching porn. Those girls have been drinking nothing but water for yeah. like 24 hours. Yeah. Yep. Who knows it's like this girl? Poland <laughs> spring <laughs> coming out of their pussy. It's probably better water than half the shit we drink. A regular girl, you're getting that fucking Pinot like, Grigio, that dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. 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 Too easy. You get yeah. that dehydrated yeah. pee that's like you know brown. Asking someone to piss on you who you haven't had eyes on for, for at least 20, 12 hours. Yes, exactly. Or, I gotta say, if I was that girl, I'd be really because you gotta assume he's probably done this. This can't be the first. Yeah, time. that's and, a and mine is so bad. Yeah, that yeah. Be like, that'll give me a complex. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. It's over. I'm never doing. It this wasn't again. like I want to try it. Finally, you're the right person to try it with. It's no, like I this is what I do. You're disgusting. Yeah, yeah. This is literally my kink and I'm out of here. But honestly, <laughs> pissing on someone, it's like almost like it's almost no contact. So it's like it's like I know it's way overboard in terms of the, the list of things to do, but it's like it's less it's less personal than well, like a blowjob. I I, th- I I think it's in the ballpark of of a facial when you think about it. Yeah, it is. But even but it's just and, a way too big a facial. Right. But, yeah, like, I, I, like, anytime you're like, into getting so pissed long. on, you got to get halfway through. It has to be through. the right amount of piss, too. You can't have one of those, like, 
keep going. Horse yeah. pisses yeah. where you like, <laughs> where it like oh, starts to going and going and it going. Stops. Yeah. She goes to get up. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> a little more, a little more, a little more. Yeah. But I like, used to pee on people all the time. That was like my really what? Yeah. Not, no, not, no, not, no, sexually. No, 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 not sexually. Not sexually. Oh, like, just go up behind them, like in the showers and stuff like that. Like, what showers? Like hockey practice. Oh, and I like that was like the greatest, the greatest thing. the greatest thing that happens in a hockey locker room is the pee. Like that was. Before they started sucking each other's dicks, oh, That's, dude. Oh, it got wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hockey locker rooms are. I, I don't know why, but like hockey locker rooms are always just the weirdest places in the world. There was some NHL player who would, he would. Uh, I think he was Russian. Story tracks, but he would like wait till somebody put on their suit, you know, after after a game, and they would go in behind him, put their dick in his in the, in their pocket, and then just piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we were kids, there was some really, pocket really piss? annoying. But he was like an enforcer too, so no one could really do anything about it. Pocket piss. I got, we got to talk to the chipless guys about that. That's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good yeah. bit. Good Stanhope bit. did it to me once. Actually, I was wearing a suit at at at, uh, at All Things Comedy Fest. It was during Punch Drunk, and he was in there, and he just he he was drunk, and he was just like. I think this will. I mean, he's right. He did it to the right guy. I respected it. <laughs> but it was like, what the fuck? He just, just no. pissed on you? Yeah. I think. In your shirt? Oh, it, I think in he was a sitting suit. on his lap. In a suit. In the pocket is really funny. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to have, like, the right height and everything. You got to have yeah. the right height. Like, do you have to, like, and stand up on, a, like, a phone book to, like. I, I don't know if this guy was just taller, the hockey player. I was sitting down. I think stand up just pissed on me. This has got to be video of it, but I don't. <laughs> is it the back pocket or the side pocket? Side pocket. Side <laughs> pocket. It's like, like, can be open something. That's what you can get your dick into. I think stand up just pissed on me. <laughs> Bro, that is unbelievable. Animals. Yeah, those Chechnyan fucking <laughs> hockey players. We just had. Did you see Titus piss his pants? No. We had a guy here. So this guy, uh, Mark Titus, started working here, and and, and, and I'll be honest. When, when he when he started, I, I was kind of like. I was I wasn't too high on him. He, he he blatantly said he was like, "This is like my live tour bag, like live golf. Like I'm just coming here for the money." Like oh, really, he said that. I kind of was like, eh. and then there was another clip of him where he was like, "You know, we 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 do a lot of challenges and videos here, and you just do you don't get paid for those things. You just do them here at Barstool." And he was like, "I just want to do what I'm contractually obligated to do. I don't really want to." So a couple a th- couple things that kind of like rubbed me the wrong way. And he pissed his pants on camera the other day, and I was like, "All right, you're in, bro." Wow! <laughs> Not that my approval means like, anything, me but but he, this? he stood in. They had a, a a wooden box of some sort that they put towels in, and he just stood there for you know takes a couple seconds, and he kind of pulls it off, and then in in. Uh, I don't know what he's working with, but great news for him. The piss started about here. Yeah. When I piss my pants, it starts about there. Yeah, yeah. and I do His it every day. was like day. Halfway, <laughs> down, halfway down the leg. And it just – and then, by the way, Titus pisses – a lot. Yeah. It was so the wow. jeans were so wet it was they became shiny. Yeah. Oh, like I think the room was like, okay, all right, you did it, you proved it. But I mean, he was very like, you know, he was one of the guys who was kind of like barstool. We like the part of my take guys, but I don't know about the rest of you sort of thing, you know. <laughs> and now it's like, well, it. well, 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 <laughs> at the turntables. Bro. That's how the comedy store was. You see people come and they're like just Christians or something, and they're like, well, I want to be a comedian, and then you're in that environment of misfits, and yeah, eventually you it's like, yeah, you'll get broken. Yeah. Yeah. You will break. Dude. You will break. Yeah, yeah. We've, yeah. we've had multiple people be like, "We're we're gonna be like, we're gonna make it happy here. We're gonna make it better here." And like they have like this <laughs> no, no. brightness in their eyes See and they're later, happy. Bitch. And like within three months, it's just it's, like it brings they're out pissing their, their pants. Inner, yeah. Barstool brings out their inner X Man, like mutant. Yes, you know? yeah. yeah. Mutant's a good way to put it. it. Like activates the gene, and you become fucking. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally the the people who do what, what he's talking about, like like we're gonna work on this. Are gone. They, they yeah. they're no longer here. Like a lot yeah. of people, mostly when you come here, you stay here. It's the people that tried to change that almost exclusively are the ones who quit or get run out or whatever. And the rest of us are just mental misfits. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's so a, fucking. You can't even describe what they have to Dude, do. We, it's just like we did. Uh, here. We did Barstool Survivor a couple weeks ago. What is that? Like you know, the game show Survivor. Mm-hmm. So we you live in the office twenty four hours a day. You compete in like these activity like games and then vote people did off. She do it. She did it. Two, last season okay this season was like survivor all-stars so basically we did it for two seasons i was the host and we did 24 it. hours you stay in here we, we, we don't well we did it for a whole week but like you can't yeah you can't ever leave the i'll do it next place. time <laughs> So uh you terror. You basically yeah, you, I mean, you're not allowed. You're not allowed. The thing's gonna be the over. Ducks. I will be like, where's yeah. Ari? Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone found him? He's I take it embedded in the like, wall. Yeah, you would for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, there's no killing. Like, what you just tell me no killing. killing. 
<laughs> the first two seasons we did it uh, with like new people and up and comers, and it was such a big success. Dave liked it and was like, we should do it with like the all stars. So it was like 50, 14 of like the original guys, the oh, craziest wow. guys. So it was a hundred grand prize. It was like what? all on the line. And it was, I mean, it, it got, it was fucking, it was dramatic. Do you guys vote as people fuck. out to every yeah. day? Yeah. Every day. It was like, so there's a challenge. If you win, you're safe. It was just like Survivor. And then your coworkers get together and vote you off. And when there's a hundred grand on the line, it's like, hey, yeah, we're all boys. Like, it'll be fine. And it's like, mm. No, no, it's not. Like shit got yeah. very real, very wow. quick. It was, it was. Uh, if I did it, I would say I don't want the money, but I want that hundred grand going to not Palestine to Hamas in the name <laughs> of Pornoy. In the name of Pornoy. Dude, he got off <laughs> with, with the line go, regarding <laughs> goes more terrorist attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, what I realized I was watching again, um, uh, Borat, um, yeah. and and it was just on, and I was like doing other stuff, and so I wasn't like watching it. And I realized his Kazakhstan, he's speaking Hebrew. Really? Yeah, I never noticed when I was watching the movie, but I just wasn't like watching it. I was like, oh, no, I know what I know he's that. saying. Is it like <laughs> broken Hebrew? Like, No, it's like Hebrew. He just well, knows Hebrew. What was he yeah. saying? All, everything he said in there was just, I don't know, like whatever. Whenever he's speaking Kazakh, it's just Hebrew. Is there anything interesting? Like, is it like an Easter egg? or is No, it he's just, just like... saying like real things. Really? Like what he would be saying. Yeah. yeah. These, I don't like these people or whatever. <laughs> uh-huh. That was great, man. What? Borat. Borat great. When Borat Borat hit, <clears throat> I was like... You know, now it's like there's been so many types of those things that he's obviously still he's the best the at man, it. Though. But when he did it, man, holy shit. Yeah. At his yeah. best, fucking unbelievable. I did a movie with his chick, this Isla. Isla Fisher. Yeah. And yeah. she was talking, they were talking about breastfeeding. What she movie was that? It's terrible. I'm embarrassed to have done it. What is it? She can't talk about it. Worst strike. Her. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was keeping up Wait, with the Joneses. I thought the strike was over. No. I think that's Actually, the, the writers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, so that's that, what so I love about the writer's this. strike started. Yeah. You dickhead actors jumped on board. They ended it and they're just still going. Yeah. Because we didn't so, get yeah. what we wanted yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. And then SNL's like, we're different. So we're going to do whatever. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. how's SNL up and running? Yeah. Because they just need to. You know, it's I'm like, like so yeah, it, I got I got an email about what Halloween costumes I'm allowed to wear. I heard for about SAG, that. Yeah. But. Sa- I mean, then I'm watching Saturday Night Live and everyone's not like working. I'm like, how the hell is this happening right now? It's it's. I just love the actors. Like, well, let's get back to work it's, stealing it's reality, Denmark it's, reality it's, shows. <laughs> is yours any any like end in sight? No, I mean I don't. I, look, it's sh- they're, we're gonna lose. They take whatever they. I, here's my thing. We are not. A, this is great for this strike here. Guys. We are not an, uh, uh, an industry that is needed. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Like. That you just said we we, we went we went on like oh the actress is still on strike you would know if teachers are still on strike <laughs> yeah. or cops yeah. or yeah. or garbage or, men, or garbage right. men. Garbage all they run the world all, all the people goes, finish it get yeah. set it settled yeah okay. with like, actors like, teachers oh. even teachers be, you're, you're like where am I gonna put my kids? settle this shit yeah, I, like, yeah. I gotta get out I gotta go to work yeah like we are not like, well, people that's, will that's not know until strike can happen the Super Bowl's over they're like oh shit right. There's yeah, no yeah. new Yellowstones coming out, like you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, people, but, I, think this, this, I think there's a good portion of the world who thinks Yellowstone is having new ones because yeah. they're putting them on because, CBS. Because on, they used to be on Paramount. Yes. They're like, oh, that's what happened. Karate TV kid. shows totally. coming on every totally. week. New life suits. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's yeah. all happening. Well, yeah. the, the yeah. funny thing about that is too that like because I, I think so many like streaming shows and are just like bad that like when a show that was written. By like writers gets put on streaming. They're like, "This is amazing! How do they yeah, make yeah, shows yeah, yeah. like this?" Well, they paid people. Yeah, That's right. what they did. Yeah. It did. It, it I came mean, from a different time. We're a hundred percent a luxury. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. we but, get to but, do is but, lu- so we, you have no you have no power in negotiating. I I agree with everything they're trying but to. But they get. need it too. The producers need it too. They need the actors to fall in line. Otherwise, I mean, I guess they could just eventually. Get but there's well, that, so it, much it, stuff it left really over. The, it's the perfect level for a longer strike. Because you're right. Yes. I think even even if uh, teachers get garbage men, even if they had a real beef, they w- both sides would be on uh, uh, aside from the table going like, "Well, we I mean we, we get like we a, can't not like we we, we got seven days to yeah, figure like this out before do the this. economy like, falls. The, yeah, the, like the garbage, like this, like society will crumble. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. so we will cave and you will cave yeah, and we will get this done. Like Biden you steps guys in are with enough. with the with yeah, the automaker worker. Like, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's joining just, the picket line. Right, right. they'll just he let probably you guys doesn't go. even know the SAG strike still going. <laughs> right, there's right. no intervention. There's no need I, for it to yeah. end. 
so, I worked for it with a with a um, the Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce. I worked for someone who used to be a stewardess at Eastern Airlines, and she goes, "We, you know, we went on strike." Um, and I was like, "How'd it go?" She goes, "There's no more Eastern Airlines." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. We're just there like we go. actually can't give you any more money. Yeah, and they yeah. just folded. Right. That's why, like, I think <laughs> com- people are like, "Oh, comedians, do you ever start a union?" We're not dumb enough. We're not. <laughs> we <laughs> understand <laughs> our value in the in the like. No one ne- needs I, us. I, yeah. I think you can music, find other laughs. Yeah, I yeah. think something's gonna happen with music. I think that the streaming thing is too much of an imbalance. That's crazy. Where they get, they paid, get paid like nothing. a fraction of a fraction of a penny for like. And a they're like, well, it's no one will like, even see your stuff. It's Cracker was the big band that was like low. That's song by Cracker. And like it got played twenty million times. Like no one would have discovered it if not for Spotify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but and then they're like yeah, but. They did discover it. Yeah, so give I mean, me some of it. Th- there is some truth to that. But it, I think if the big dogs got together and said, if like Taylor Swift and Jay Z and the country they have music, to all join in. They, yeah. like it has to be the and top good, dogs. And good luck getting that done. Yeah. yeah, because those guys, I think, also do get a better. Because then you're gonna have Spotify, some country right? western guy yeah. being like, "I can't let my rope, my crew down, yeah. and I gotta still hit the road and, and make music." Just, and, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, you know, and then, what they could really do is if those guys, Jay Z doesn't really tour much anymore, but like Beyonce and Taylor Swift yeah. and all these guys, Kanye, everybody big, Arcade Fire, which goes, "Hey, Ticketmaster, we're not playing until you lower yeah. your you lower your fees to fifteen percent or below." That would have been that's what I thought. But I think those guys, but, but they it. but they make all their money on touring because streaming shit. So yeah. Right. They they're not going to fuck with their touring money. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the worst one to me. Everyone has to tour four. now. What you need to do is tell Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster, we're not going to tour until you tell Spotify to change. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Then everybody gets on board. Because I don't think – I think a lot of these guys say, like, we don't care about streaming, streaming yeah. or even album sales anymore. Yeah. It's just about touring. No, I mean yeah. Ticketmaster for the touring part. Yeah. You ever you ever get a two $30 tickets and you're and like, like – They're like four hundred dollars You're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they, they didn't they used to have like a, a list of like the top ten grossing albums of like the week or the month or whatever yeah. it is. Like, do you even like? I don't even know what is a good number now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. like, like someone sold like, sold a million a albums million this month like, or whatever. You know, yeah, yeah I don't like, even know what be the, what the benchmark is. Cool. Yeah. My my dad called me and asked me like, how it going? I don't know why he just called me. He's like. On any album, <laughs> I remember I like, that. I was like, he, he, I don't. Green Day had a good one on Dookie. No, there was specifically. Uh, but you don't know anymore. There you was a three. That, that's that's song, you say three album. in a row. Yeah. Oh, oh all right. And, and, the one was it was four to start an album was the one we had over the summer too, which was very specific. But I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. The, <laughs> like the first like song one, two, three, four yeah. of an album that yeah, you I just put on in Pearl Jam's Black. He had he had so many good examples. He had a ton, but I was like, I don't know any. What's that? He remembers albums. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. I just put, I hit play and put it in my pocket. I don't I, even know the names. I any remember. Of the songs. A lot of but, people just put out tracks. Here's right. One song and another month. Here's another song. Yeah. Dude, I That's remember what Drake buying does, an right? album being like, I bought it for this one song. Now it's like I would never put out an album. I just put out just individual songs. There's uh-huh. no reason to do it. People are doing that with comedy now. It's not necessarily an album. Yeah. It's like a five minute clip yeah, every month. Right. Yeah. Like little bits. Just, uh, I, I feel like the special the kind of. Year. of like people, it was always an hour, and then now people are toying around with that, and then, yeah, even to the point where it's just like you just need a, way a single joke too, to go viral. Like, yeah, do clips for clips. Do a special for like a big. I I yeah. agree with that. Yeah, but I also think sometimes you guys are a, a, a little like you're still apprehensive to put material on the internet, and I get why. But also, it's like you go if you have a great joke and yeah. it goes like mega mega then viral, right. yeah. you could like your career could be made like from that one. Yeah. Joke. Somebody so, else, and you never know which joke is going to be. A chunk on this Hamas Israel stuff, and and Salik was like, "We should record that." I'm like, "It's for live audiences only." Yeah, it's too too explosive no, for sure. That's that's certain things are only you know. <laughs> yeah, I want people. I want to see the people walk out. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I want to see the face of horror. Yeah, if yeah. you watch this, you agree to yeah. record yourself yeah. walking out of your living room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the tour starts when. So we're starting November 1st in Omaha. We go Minneapolis, Madison, Chicago, Louisville, Indianapolis. Um, and then I got a bunch more in San Francisco. I'm doing the Palace of Fine Arts. Oh. January 13th. That's, that's cool. a Grammy spot, sounds like. <laughs> that's a Grammy spot. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a good place to take a Grammy. I think and put there's a stage. chance that somebody, Jewish people, listen to your, your thing and, and give and you a shot. And they'll be like, I hope. It was the best thing I've done. So I don't how, know. It was so like, good. How upset would you be if Gillis got it? He didn't put an album out that year, so it'd be. Tough. What what does that um, even mean? <laughs> album like like you put your special on on an on, album? Like, yeah, exactly. So it's not like so some, a lot of the Netflix ones don't even do an album, or they might just do it, upload it quickly. Oh, to, like, that's how qualify. it. It's not a special necessarily. No, special is like the like 
Emmy or Golden Globe, and then Grammy Got is it. just for the audio version. Uh-huh. Right, but it, but it just means audio comedy. Right, yeah. it's not like, like it I think but, like only, Al, Adam only Sandler an used album. to do like an album yeah. with like skits and songs. Yeah, well, that too, that would have been nominated. That, right. Back then, it was like but, mostly so, just but, albums. And but for the Grammys, you're not gonna they're not gonna watch it and take it, into the visual account. I was gonna say the visual. Uh, account, like, the, the I'm hoping they do like because that. I put enough into it. I hope that they do it like in yeah. court with like strike that from the record. Yeah, but everyone heard it. You know how you watched it exactly. Yeah, you might not. It's not official, but everyone saw what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's it's is it weird? Is it weird for you? I mean. I say this in a uh, in as a compliment, but you know, like that's the best thing you'll ever do, probably. <laughs> probably, <laughs> right? yeah. Exactly. Like that's kind of like, it's kind of cool in a way to have that. That like you have like your like you, when you're bit. dead, like your magnum opus. But also, it's all downhill from here, bro. It's all downhill. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Sal about it. Like he was like, you know, I gotta make something good. It's like, oh, your thing was so good. And I gotta so do something good. good. So I'm like, yeah. I'm, what do you? What am I gonna do? <laughs> My next yeah. gonna be not as good. But that, but but like you have it at least. Yeah, at least I have it. Yeah, and I'm I think most I'm people like slowing down because of that. I'm like, let me make the next one. You should, better than you should though. I, uh, but I also think most people will be like, well, this one wasn't as good as you, but like, come on, Jim. you got like, you got to do the Brian Cranston from Seinfeld. We just become a new religion and just do there do you go. That's it. That's it. Yep. <laughs> do, just, I'm gonna go far. The I'm gonna do like just jokey jokes. I think I yeah, gotta go. Yeah, it's complete old school. You should, because, yeah, trying to replicate that, that is yeah. Yeah. So just be like, these are regular jokes. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's like who you were for a while. It's like what you were. I mean, it's like the culmination. You just did it when you were in your 40s. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you probably, you probably should kill yourself. You know what? You win. You win. You win. You win. You win. You win. You If you killed yourself, you would win that Grammy. Yes. Like we fake it? At least fake your death. At least fake Tragedy news coming yeah. out of Chicago today. Bus crash. Yeah. Dump bus. Eight hundred pounds of shit and Ari Shafir <laughs> yep. fell off the fucking. <laughs> Stop break. it. Uh, yeah, he was taking a dump while they dumped the dump. <laughs> he got slipped through the, the crevasse yeah. <laughs> into the river. <laughs> we had someone uh, at our live show the other day ask uh, if you got fifteen people to commit mass suicide. What was the best? What would be the best way to do it? To convince them? Yeah. To convince no, no, no. them Commit or to get them? Like, 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 they all, all, they all kill agree. ourselves at once. But you'd have to, it wouldn't be fooling them into going into a wood No, no, no. They, no, they, no, they, no. They, yeah. They're doing it on purpose. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That would be funny. <laughs> you know, I love to hang and they're all like in a big circle <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> like, oh, he died first. Like he's dead first. Like he's dead. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, hold on. Hold on. You're like, oh, you know, yeah, we can really all cool. watch each other hang. Yeah, and they do those office things with the. Like, go like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you do one of those pendulum things, yeah. swimming back and forth. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be very cool. 15, very 20 artistic. people. That's good. Yeah, yeah. that is the good. Guy, the guy who asked it, we really, I forget, we asked him like a question back, and he was like, oh, I'm not the leader of it. I was like, dude, in your what? suicide fantasy, you're, you're not, not the leader. You're not you're like, I'm just going to go along with whatever they say. <laughs> yeah. I said, that's, the, most, that's the lowest in, self-esteem I've ever heard. Yeah, that's, that's a beta. complete made-up fantasy, <laughs> you're like, yeah. whatever my friend says. Whatever the dude. cool guy says. <laughs> Bro, you want to kill yourself? Waves. You just tell me what time and when. I've been waiting, dude. What do I got to bring? a good friend, though. That's a down-ass friend. That's that's similar to you jumping on this bus with him, man. Godspeed, bro. Yep. All right, so uh, everyone. But I also got a ton of new dates coming out this week, all through the Midwest, Detroit, I don't know, Savannah, a bunch of places, Knoxville. Third show in Boston. Hell yeah. I'll tell you Boston where you're not going to be. In Philadelphia, uh, November 11, uh, 16th through the 18th right, at Helium Thursday. Comedy Club, because I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What Tickets on sale, steverenitzeasy.com. Love it. Thank um, you, boys. Yeah, guys, this was yeah, great. Thank you. I've had to piss guys. for the last hour 20. Me too. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you for holding it. <laughs> we jump right into it. I was going to go right before you. Like, let's start now. I'm like, uh, well, okay. I, I did. Travis Kelsey's making a big mistake. Let's get rolling. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Click that button. Or I'll cut off my finger. <laughs>